Yo, what is going on guys? It's just Ready here bringing you the Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 tutorial styling part 2. I kind of broke kind of late. I'm very sorry about that. I did say I'll, I did say I'll bring it early, but it came out a bit late. But here it is as promised. And before anything, let me tell you guys something new. Um, I got I made a Patreon account, so I put a link in the description below and a Twitter account. So follow me there, please. Want any more updates? I have been trying to update a lot on Twitter, so you guys can actually see what's happening and what's moving on about. But yeah, let's get straight into the video, guys. So let's go. Boom. Okay, guys. So. First thing I'm gonna do, um, if you remember in the last video, I thought I had to do this right. I had to do this. Oh my god, I was gonna quit that one. Okay, basically, yeah. By now, hopefully, you're gonna hang on doing this. And doing this. So, you gotta hang on doing this right, guys. Hopefully, you guys do. So, you get the cool knives coming in. So, uh, and I think it was, what, I think it was that as well, yeah. So, you got these ones here. And those ones. So, and what else? Was there anything else? Oh yeah, that was what I think it was that as well. And uh, yeah, changes quick. Okay. And I think, yeah, there's more things actually. There's, um, this is all guys. This is, this is a recap, just to make sure you guys remember everything. So, I won't explain what to do, so I'm all in part one. It was this as well, if you guys remember. So, making the character dash when I don't need to. We're not wasting no chum chakra, I can't just my chakra means not being wasted at the moment. So, right now, for this picture, I'm only need chakra, so I'll put it into the. Because um, I'm showing you guys the tutorial, of course, you won't have the internet attack when you play against someone in terms of style. So, with this part, I'm going to show you guys how to do tag combos. And you guys have been asking for a long time a proper tutorial on how to tag combos exactly how to do it perfectly and not to never mess up. And to show you guys what a tag combo is, I'll show you. Oh, okay, now I'm going to probably get it. Uh, basically, I, I recorded before this and I did it perfect. I did it like five times in a row. Oh, that was really cool. The cuts in the but yeah, so I'll show you guys how to do that basically, and it's very easy, believe it or not. So basically, what you want to do is make sure you are using your right thumb on your right stick. Don't try to use two fingers. This isn't. I don't think you try to use two fingers. Let's say to put like a thumb on the circle and the first finger on the right stick, and just try press as quick as possible. That does work, but I'm trying, actually, you can do that. It feels weird doing it like that. Actually. I only do it with something else, and I'll explain what I'm talking about later on. But to do this, guys, what we want to do is didn't take my guard, so you guys. Happening, so. Not when damage off completely. Okay, so basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your right stick on the right thumb, right? Your right thumb on the right stick, my bad. <laughs> right, and you're gonna flick it down. So, down, basically, that you have to flick it actually. Just go down as if you're aiming down. So, I'm holding down right now, but nothing's happening yet. So, that should happen basically. You get tagged. When you flick it down, let go, and you should be below down, looks like. Now, you're gonna come around like an anti clockwise motion, go around X. Or A, and if you're not Xbox, go around it and hit attack. So don't go over it, go around it. If you do that perfectly in time, you get the combo. Look, you get it perfectly. Oh, I didn't change. And you perfect every time, it should be perfect. Or maybe 99% at least. Maybe 99 or above 90 if you do it like that. But let's have if you do it over. Oh god, I hate X backs. And... But yeah, you can do it like that as well, but I prefer to do it. Around the reason why I do it around gives me enough time. It kind of like it's kind of like a time timer for me. If that makes sense. The timer. If we do it above, then it, you don't leave any time for it. Just do one hit usually. Look, that's what happens. They usually just do one hit. But if you go around, they get the whole combo, and it's actually pretty sweet. So that's how you do the tag combo. Hopefully that was kind of helpful. Hopefully you guys, you kind of got that understood the way I explained it. Cause that's the best way I can explain it. If I had a camera when I record my hands doing it and you guys can probably see what I'm doing but I don't have a camera I'm working on that guys, don't worry, a camera will be coming up soon Probably, I don't know when, but very soon, so don't worry about that um, Okay, so that, that, we've got that part done now and You can always change out, so I have another tutorial of when I change character and I, you, can, you have an infinite basically and I'll show you again here, just the, the guy, but this will be a quick version of me doing it So you put it on guard so This is what it looks like Oh god, I don't know why I went over. Okay. Look at this right, look, he's done for a long time. So you can get a combo out there, anything you want, any free ultimate, anything you want. Kind of broken, I know it's broken. People complaining, I know. It's crazy, but you can do that as well. So it's kind of cool for styling as well if you're doing styling videos or anything cool. This is still the basics, so don't worry about that. But now let's move on to where I got a list here, believe it or not. 
Let's do um, support jutsu. This is very good for pressure. I show you guys how to do this if you remember how to do these dashes. But these dashes also work with jutsu as well, believe it or not. Look, basically, you train, you train, you train my chakra. So if I use chakra, look, I ain't gonna waste chakra. Look, I'm wasting chakra. But if I do this, look at that. No chakra wasting. Charge to the max. Oh god, I didn't do like that. So the same thing at that same thing applies to this blow the chakra down and tag and down down and tag down on a uh, down tag and press attack or switch I'm saying oh oh good that didn't work out very well but all you want to do is blow chakra switch and press attack what you want to do that's literally all you want to do and it's very easy that simple and you can probably base one out for example let's say I'm um, Get me that over here. You can break this guy. You can do something like this. Look at that. Watch out! I get like a few extra hits and and that actual um, ninja too as well, which is pretty sweet. It's not like guys. So that is that part covered there. Uh, next part is gonna do. Cause this is very stylish kind of thing. This is this is unnecessary, but if you do the styling, it just goes happening here. So I'm doing. Oh god, no tracker, no tracker left. Let me put an into chakra. This is very good for styling video combos. This is if we have instant chakra, this is what people usually do. If you do online as well. I used to have to go to all my chakra and doing it, but it air hits. I don't know what to call it. I think there's actually a name for it, but I don't know the technical term for it. So I'm gonna call it like quick air hits. Quick air hits, that's what it's gonna be called. Or something like that. You can call it what um the ninja hit, the ninja air or something, the ninja air hit, anything crazy, I don't know. What you're gonna do is you're gonna quickly slide your control X to circle or A to A to B. And you get you should get that here. If you don't do that, if you do this very slow, if I did not slide it, you get this. Look at that. This is Minato's one. He gets a very slow one. Not all characters have this, so just let you know. Some characters float in the air after you hit them. Kashi has one really good one because he lands back on the ground, so you don't actually have to slide him with him. But this one is cool. Oh. Okay. So basically what this does is it lifts them up in the air and you can carry on. Look, I can carry on. And right now you might be thinking, how the hell am I doing that? You'll probably be trying this and nothing's happening. Like, he's still blocking. You must be thinking, I, when I try this, nothing happens when I try this. The reason why I'm not doing... Okay, this is what you probably think I'm doing. Sorry guys, I'm kind of jumbling my words up. You probably think I'm doing this, guys. Oh. Not this. You probably think I'm doing this. But you're thinking, how the hell am I on the ground still not dashing towards him? What I'm doing is I'm ninja moving really quick and dashing as quick as possible. So basically you get this. I feel very slow motion. Do it here, look, I do this, that's what I'm doing. Oh, things have changed. Oh my god, that was a quick. I have no explanation for that dash, to be honest. That happened so many times to me, and it's really random when it happened. But basically, what you want to do is hit and ninja me to the side, then dash. Just like the first tutorial. So remember that when I you guys to do this. But rather than dashing straight away, you're going to do a hit and do the same thing, so we'll hit instead. And basically, you stay on the ground and do that. If you do a normal one, you get this, you get that basically. But if we do it with the dash, you get a straight dash, and it can load up still. They're not, it's not straight away. Let's have me do it straight away on the ground. It looks like this. That's what it looks like basically. And when you do it normally, it looks like this. Oh god, they blocked out too slow. Too slow. Basically, yeah. Basically, like that. It is quite hard to hit on the Oh man, I'm messing up. But basically, that's what we're gonna do. So attack, ninja move, and dash quick. So when you get them in the air, you do this basically. Look, you keep them in the air. Keep the jog. You can juggle them if you want. Do whatever you want. Anything you feel comfortable with. Kind of very stylish in my opinion. There we go. I like doing the Kashi because you lift them up really high in the air compared to me not to. Oh god. Oh, I'm doing it very slow. Oh wow, he just missed completely. Oh, because I'm in the wall, right? Okay. So yeah, that's basically what it is. It's very style. You might be wondering what people do after that. I could show some really nice people do after this. So you can do this. Oh, you can change the character right after as well. You can probably do a tag combo as well while I show you earlier on in this video. So, for example... Oh, two, one. You might, yeah, I might be thinking of tag combo. What do you mean at the end there? Oh, I didn't do the ninja moves. <laughs> Bad example, isn't it? So, let me retry because I messed up pretty badly. 
Okay, let's go straight to it. Kashi, I have to ask this man. This is Kashi. So let's see if I can. Oh, I messed up. I, I think that's what I'm gonna go for. But I will try. Oh, I messed up again. One more time, one more time, guys. Oh my god, maybe we mean ourselves work there. Let's try again. I'm gonna F now. I'm gonna F now. Oh my god, but basically, you can do a tie combo. I wanna show you a good example of so I probably should put add in a clip at the end of the video of what it looks like. So if you wanna see the clip, you should go straight to the end of the video and I show what exactly what it looks like. There'll be no commentary over this before sound and blah. But yes, let's show you what else you can do. So this will be the last part of this tutorial. There'll be part three as well, so don't worry about that guys. The part three will be coming out, so do not worry about that. This part here I wanna show you guys is something really cool. Infinite items. It's kinda broken if you think about it and it's kinda cool at the same time. Right now you might be thinking, oh I'm in training mode, that's why I look like nothing's happening. Well let me take off the ninja tools and make it normal. So as you can see, look, I would echo away my items that items are there. Now what happens here, if I do if I do it like this. Oh god, I wasted one. Oh I wasted another one. But basically, you might be thinking, how the hell do you not wasting anything? Why is it not being wasted? The reason why is because I'm changing that character really quickly and making them throw the item and if the support is throwing not my character so it's as if my character still has the item but the support doesn't but since this game you can switch with the characters it's as if the, it, doesn't, it cancels out everything basically it cancels everything out and what this is useful for is for baiting people out so let's say uh, for example I'm going to air combo look at that it just puts it, it can make them sub at something something crazy I don't know Oh man, I'm messing up. Basically, I feel exactly what I'm talking about. Let me put him high in the sky. Look at this. Only one item was wasted there. Only one item was wasted. The other item was for free, basically. And that is really cool at the same time. And the way I use it is during in combos, so I'll show you me nothing once. Oh. No, I was playing, I was playing to you guys exactly how I do it. Let me see the combo first. Look at that. Oh, I've missed the grab. But yeah, you can, just, you can do it really crazy. It's really, really cool, really stylish as well when you just want to throw it and you just have the item. The best way to do it is, I'll show you exactly how it is with the fun band finger. So make sure you have your first finger on the right stick. Yeah, this is the weird part I was talking about from previously. On the right stick and put your thumb on X or A in the next box. And make sure you have your left stick on the item. For example, left, right, usually it's one of those little, maybe down something to the left, like with Konami or something like that. So what you do is tag X and K. Okay, Switch character, press X when throw the item. Item must be many same time as X, literally probably a millisecond difference or something. And basically like that everything should be all in one motion. All in one motion. So one, two, three, like that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Can you think of it like in that kind of rhythm. So like hopefully you can hear that, but that's the rhythm it should be in. So I'll probably let you guys hear it. Hear it? That's what it sounds like basically. I thought that sounds really annoying, but that is exactly what it should sound like. And you can probably slap it in the combo. You usually you do after dashes. Um, it must be in the air one. Look at that. You can probably bait someone out with it. It's so cool in my opinion. It's just really cool. So, for example, look at this. Look at that. It's just so cool. And that's how you do it basically. But this video is coming to an end though, and part 3 will be coming out. I'll be going more around to like make combos and stylish combos and everything. Kind of like figure out what kind of play style you have, kind of which style, which kind of style are you, are you kind of the more, I don't know, aggressive kind of style, more defensive style, the one that kind of goes base into grabs or the one that just goes full on to combos. I don't know, kind of like, I don't know, you know what I'm you know what I mean. But yeah, that is what I have for you guys. So the video will be slapped on at the end. But I will end this with Resengan as always. So let's slap on the Resengan. See you there guys, peace out. Ooh.